Hello everyone, welcome to another Disney day and a brand new Disney World vlog. I am off to the Magic Kingdom today. I know you guys are always excited for the first time in the Magic Kingdom on any of my trips, so am I. There is nothing like walking into that park in the morning. And today I've got a slightly later start. Because I'm staying off site on this trip, I can't easily come back to the hotel. So I don't go too early in the mornings if I'm staying till the end of the day or towards the end of the day. Otherwise it's just a very, very long day. So when I get there, I have a reservation at Plaza Restaurant and by the time I get there, it's probably gonna be pretty much time to go. It's like a very early lunch. They have some new milkshakes and a new dessert and stuff. So I'm gonna go and check out some of those new things. And the rest of the day, I'm just gonna see where it takes me. I'm just gonna be wandering the Magic Kingdom, obviously just showing you everything that's going on, riding some attractions and just taking in the amazing atmosphere that there always is in that park. And later this evening, I'm gonna be meeting up with Kate and her boyfriend. We're having dinner at the Grand Floridian cafe so Kate will be making a reappearance in these vlogs if this is the first of my vlogs you're seeing hello and welcome I have lots of Disney World vlogs I will link some playlists in the description there's lots to watch from many many years now so I will link some of them below for you and as always I'm very happy to have you all along on this trip with me I am traveling solo this time like I said Kate is here so I will be seeing her on and off but I haven't done a solo trip for a little while now so it's really good loving it so far I'm staying at Endless Summer over at Universal for the actual hotel I'm in. It's really nice. I love this hotel and you'll see it on and off throughout the vlogs. But I'm going to go downstairs now and grab an Uber. No time for coffee this morning. I will have to get that when I get to the Magic Kingdom. And my outfit for today, I have the brand new ears on that I bought in Epcot yesterday. I did buy these for a reason to go with this specific outfit. And then I have this dress, which is from New Look. I love this. I'll link it below if it's still available. It's pretty new, so I think it should be. And I've got my 50th lounge fly bag there. And then I've just got my Converse on today. And I'm on the 11th floor. This is the view. I'm just by the elevators now. Okay, I've arrived at the Ticket and Transportation Centre. We had to drop off in a slightly different place. They're doing some construction. So I'm just walking along now and I think this is gonna bring me out over by the ferry and the monorail. I'm not sure, do I do ferry or monorail? Always the question. I'll see what looks busier. And um, then I'm gonna have to go straight to my reservation at the plaza, I think, which is neither breakfast or lunch. It's definitely somewhere in between. I think they'll have just opened. Okay, neither of them look busy. Let's go ferry boat. And um, there's one right here, so hopefully I can make it onto this one. And here we are. I am so excited to get inside. I love this park so much. We've got the Halloween decorations there as well. I'll obviously show you that as we're going around, but I will be doing the Halloween party, so we'll be able to see that in all its glory when I do that in about a week's time. I think Halloween in the Magic Kingdom is my favorite season. I love Christmas too though, it's tough to call. And let's go and get our all important first look at the castle. It always looks beautiful. And I'll definitely come back later and head into some of these stores so we can take a look at the merchandise. And coffee, I will come back for you shortly. In fact, probably once I've eaten my lunch, I might come straight for a coffee. Okay, I am seated here in the main dining room at Plaza Restaurant. You can see the little conservatory section, which is where mum and I sat last time we were here. And it opens at 11, so I'm here right at opening. That's why there's hardly anyone seated yet, but there will be soon. It'll be very busy, it always is. And I'm just taking a look at the menu here. The main reason that I've come today is the new items. They do have some new sandwiches and things I'm not really hungry enough for that interestingly with the milkshakes there is a new key lime one I believe but they don't have it here on the menu so I'm gonna ask about that and there is also a cotton candy cheesecake so I'm gonna get those two items I really don't want to eat too much else but I need something that isn't sugar so I may just get an appetizer just wondering whether I want to get a salad or the onion rings I could get both they do have an entree salad as well actually um, although I don't really want the turkey or the ham so I think if I was gonna get salad, I'd go for the house salad. But they also have a bacon cheeseburger, homestyle meatloaf, crispy chicken sandwich. 
pot roast stack, crab cake sandwich, I think that one might be new. They have a chicken Waldorf salad, an impossible chili burger, and a triple decker turkey club sandwich. It's so nice being in here to cool off. It is hot today. Having said that yesterday wasn't too bad, today is gonna be a very, very hot one. And as you can probably tell, I've sort of cooled down a bit now, but I was super hot when I came in just from doing the ferry boat and the walkover and everything. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be in and out of the air conditioning today for sure. But I've ordered, in the end, I went for the appetizer salad, like the house salad, and I got some onion rings with it. And then I've also gone for the key lime milkshake, which is one of the new milkshakes that they have. And I'm really, fingers crossed, hoping I have enough room at the end for the cotton candy cheesecake. I may not be able to finish it, but I really wanted to get it to show you guys because it looks really awesome and I love cotton candy. So hopefully that would be good. And yeah, it's just nice being in here when it's quiet because it's only just open, so there's not many people seated. I did hear them telling people outside that they are not taking walk-ups. Um, even though it's very quiet in here, I guess all of these tables are spoken for and people will be here soon enough and they can't really give them away to walk-ups because they might not be gone in time if that makes sense but it's nice to get here when it's nice and quiet and of course you can't beat the view because i can see the castle right outside the window my food has arrived so here is my house salad and the onion rings there are so many of them this is definitely something for sharing but i'm here on my own so i'm just gonna have to do what i can where that's concerned and here is the key lime milkshake this looks so good okay moment of truth let's try this thing this looks so good ice cream is so thick it's hard to like get it through the straw that is really delicious though it's like creamy from the like ice cream but very tangy as well really nice and i can taste the kind of um, crumbs on it like they're ever so slightly cinnamony but it's not super cinnamony if anyone's worried about that i just mean the tiniest tiniest little hint it tastes like just from the cracker crumbs but really really good did pretty good there i left a few of the onion rings and i've drunk maybe like at least half of this probably more than half i'm just gonna stop there because i do want to get this cheesecake and if i eat any more there is going to be no chance of that happening but it was actually really nice this salad had a maple kind of vinaigrette dressing which was really really good now i have the cotton candy cheesecake and a coffee i had to get my coffee here i can't wait until uh, starbucks and actually after this i just want to go and do some stuff around the park so i thought i'd just get a coffee now and the cheesecake i can smell the strawberry from here i think it's the sauce here that i can smell and it's got these little kind of pearl thingies on it and we're just getting closer so you can see i'll be interested to see how dense the actual cheesecake is let's go for it give it a try it's actually very dense i would say share this if you're gonna get it if we had a full meal it's really nice though the actual cheesecake only has like a slight strawberry kind of taste but yeah it's quite dense so i would say it'd be quite heavy dessert to eat the whole thing to yourself but i'm gonna do my best okay i would say i did pretty well there there's only this little bit left i thought i was gonna barely be able to eat any actually it it wasn't too sweet i think that was why the little bit of cotton candy or candy floss if you're in the uk was only a little bit that was obviously very sweet the cheesecake itself really wasn't it was a really nice strawberry taste with the sauce though so i'd highly recommend that but yeah it did pretty well i almost finished it so that lunch was amazing i always loved plaza restaurant but i really enjoyed those two new items there now i'm gonna go and take a couple of photos over by the castle i did check on people mover it was down when i was on the ferry on the way over but it's back up so i might head and do that and then make my way around to Fantasyland, then over into Liberty Square. And the 12 o'clock parade is just happening, so I may go over to the castle and take a couple of photos, because that's sometimes a good time to get it with hardly anyone there. And I'll show you the parade in a second, but look at the castle, close up. Absolutely love this view. I'll just show you a little bit of this here, but if you want to see a really good view of it, I will link the video from my last trip where we had such a great view. of the little mermaid i forgot to say that i watched the movie on the plane that was actually my first time seeing it because i just hadn't gotten around to seeing it in the cinema 
and I just wanted to give a verdict. I absolutely loved it. Little Mermaid was my favourite Disney movie as a child, so I was thinking, I really hope that I love this because I love the original and it was so good. It's probably one of my favourites of the live action films as well, so I was really, really glad I got to watch that. Okay, let's get ourselves onto the People Mover. It'll definitely be a welcome breeze at this time of day. And just back there, there was a Mr. Toad photo opportunity, which I think might be part of the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party decorations. I'll put the photo in, but a lovely cast member took my picture for me because, as you know, I love Mr. Toad. He wasn't actually in the photo, but it was a Mr. Toad themed photo op. Keeping hands, arms, feet, legs, and other appendages inside your car. And please supervise younger beings. Non stop service around tomorrow. We've been delayed. It's actually quite nice because I'm sitting here just watching Tron go around and around. I just saw the train as well, which is really good. Just to mention, um, today I did get a notification on the app saying that Space Mountain is down. Sometimes you do get those when, as soon as you log into the app, basically it will tell you that an attraction is down. Usually that means it's going to be down for quite some time. Right. Oh, moving again. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've stopped again. Attention all visitors from To your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Whether you have one eye or nine, take the time to see this show. I am back on the ground. I'm not actually sure how long that delay was. I probably should have timed it. It didn't feel like that long, but when we got off, they just gave everybody a fast pass return time, which can be used on various different attractions. So I'll look in the app in a minute and see what I could use that for. So that's really nice of Disney to do that because I didn't really feel like it was that long that we were stuck. But anyway, now I'm going to grab a Joffrey's and I'm probably going to FaceTime mum um, because she just loves to see the parks now that she's been and she also loves Joffrey. So I'll do a little FaceTime with her and then set off around into Fantasyland. I've got my coffee and some water and I'm just going to sit here and have that. And I just want to show you this little area. If you are ever looking to get away from it all in the Magic Kingdom, there is usually no one back here. If there ever is, it might be like one or two people, but I've never really seen anyone back here. So you can see the people mover coming by there and the Joffrey's location is just like here. So if you just keep coming backwards, there is this whole area with several benches and you can kind of sit on the, the wall there as well but there's just virtually never anyone back here. So it's a good place to come if you're just looking for some quiet time, which is hard to find in the Magic Kingdom. I'm not really in need of quiet time other than I'm gonna FaceTime mum, so it'd be good to be able to hear her properly. And while I'm going past, I'm just gonna check out Star Traders. They do have the classic mini ears in here, the sequin ones with the red bow. And I think these Maleficent ones are new. I haven't seen those before. Very good for Halloween. And I'm not 100% sure I've seen these. Actually, I have. These are from the Italy Pavilion in Epcot. And I really like this Toy Story t-shirt. Got lots over there. Bing Bong. Cannot see a price on it anywhere though, unfortunately. Look at this adorable Bing Bong sweatshirt. This is obviously for kids. Love that. And they have this sweatshirt that says, take care of yourself with a walk in a Disney theme park. I could not agree more. Self-care, definitely going to Disney. This is cute too. In my favorite place with my favorite people. And I don't think I've seen this spirit jersey before. It says Walt Disney World and it has Lion King on it. But I have seen one that actually says the Lion King, I think. But this one says Disney World and Lion King on the front. And there's also this Peter Pan one. Pretty sure that's new. I checked the app and I can use my return time for Haunted Mansion, Pirates, and Big Thunder Mountain among other things. But the um, highest wait times at the moment are Haunted Mansion and Pirates. So I'll probably use it for one of those. Probably Haunted Mansion, let's face it. And when I'm here on solo trips, as you can imagine, one of the top things that I spend my time doing is people watching. You can't really help it when you're here solo. And I can always tell how hot it is by watching other people. So people are just coming in and out of Star Traders there, like bright red, they're like, 
like, oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Like, I can always just tell by people's reactions. But actually, if you go in and out of air conditioning, it's not too bad. That's the top tip that I would give. A lot of people say to me, how is your makeup still on? How are you not completely, like, melting? It's because I go in and out of air conditioning as much as I possibly can. Just popping into attractions, into shops. I'll probably go and do Mickey's Phil Heart Magic. That gives you a nice little break in the cool air. So, yeah, do make sure you're drinking a lot of water and going in and out of air conditioning wherever you can because it is hot. I love Pooh Bear so much. And let's just see what the latest is at Storybook Treats because they change their things that they have here quite often. They have a Rapunzel Sunday, which looks very interesting. I've had a Rapunzel cone here before. And at the moment they have an Aurora cone, which is strawberry and blue soft serve with white chocolate crisp pearls. That looks good. And it's definitely time for Philhar Magic. This has become one of my favorite things in the park. I've been coming here for years. I've always liked it, but I just suddenly, in the last year or two, I would say, have got a new found love for this. And it's one of my favorite things now. Oh, it's a full house today. I've not been in here when it's been this busy for a while. Okay, I'm just gonna head round to the front of the castle to try and get a couple of pictures. Before before I get entirely too sweaty and I'm no longer feeling photogenic, which will easily happen on a day like today. Then I'm gonna head back through to Liberty Square to ride the Haunted Mansion. So I got my pictures and witnessed a Disney proposal. So congratulations to whoever that was. I have seen quite a few over the years when I'm by the castle. I seem to have good luck at being there at the right moment to witness these things. And speaking of adorable Disney experiences, one of the things I love about Philhar Magic, when you're sat there and the part where Ariel kind of reaches out and also at the part where Tinker bell is flying around you always see the little kids trying to like reach out and touch them it's so cute so i do love that i loved it as always but now my time has come to use my return time at the haunted mansion okay i'm gonna make a sudden snap change of mind with what i'm gonna do because there's a parade coming up and once the parade is happening this area is then completely sort of jammed like you can't get through from haunted mansion this way so i'm gonna head to the left and go towards pirates and just towards Adventureland, look at all of that. And then once the parade is over, I'll come back up this way and then ride Haunted Mansion. At least then I won't get stuck back there. And while we're in the area, I think I'm gonna head into the pin store and let's see what's new in there. Oh, there goes the Liberty Bell. And they do have some Halloween ones here. These ones are not specific to the Halloween party. I think those are only available on the actual party nights themselves during the hours of the party. So you would have to actually be attending to get one of those, but they do have all of these generic Halloween ones. And they have lots here in this Disney 100 range. Look at this one, this Roger Rabbit. That's really nice. Is $35 though, which I'm not entirely sure I want to spend. I'm gonna think about it. As with all my purchases, I think about them and I write them down in my phone, the things that I've seen, and then I make a decision at the end. Normally I would say buy things. If you really, really see something that you want, I would buy it just in case it's not there when you come back, because that's happened to me before. But yeah, I'll take the risk. I thought they might have had pop sockets in there, but they didn't. So I'm gonna keep looking maybe in the Emporium later. And the country bears are actually out just wandering around. There's one there and one of them over there in the distance. For the purposes of cooling down, I could really, really have a doll Whip right now, but I don't really want like ice cream. What I would have right now, if it was possible, is the shaved ice in Epcot because it doesn't taste like anything like creamy or ice cream. It's just super, super cold. So that would be amazing. Let's just see if they have anything new though. So they currently have the doll Whip pineapple float, the pineapple soft serve in a cup, the tropical serenade float. I have had that before and it's really nice. And also the pineapple upside down cake, which has the doll Whip on top. And I definitely need a drink, maybe just some water and to reapply sunscreen. So I'll try and find a drink and then I might go and sit over in the seating area opposite Pirates. I'll show you that because it's actually a really nice place to go and sit. So this is the place that's quite nice to sit, Tortuga Tavern. This is not always open. It's very, very seasonal. So if it's not open, it's a great place to sit because it's very quiet. Here's the little seating place I always come to. As you can see, it's not too busy and it's right at the back and it's just such a great place to come and cool off. And I went for the pear lemonade slushy that you can get here and also water. I always say for every slushy or soda or coffee or whatever you're drinking, also have a water at the same time because you really do need to hydrate. But this slushy is so nice. If you like the night blossom in Pandora at Animal Kingdom, it doesn't have the popping pearls in, but the taste of the actual slushy is very, very similar. If not the same, I think that one has apple and pear. This one is just the pear, but it tastes very similar to that one and I love it. Okay, I'm feeling suitably revived now, so time to go on Pirates. And um, we have a 20 minute wait time, that's fine.
Mark Lash, they be laying golden eggs. So tell you what, Captain Jack Sparrow, you'll never find the treasure without a look at this here map. And this lovely key to the treasure. Loved pirates as always, and they have lots of cocoa merch here. This looks like pajama shorts, maybe. They are $39.99, and they have this lounge fly, which I don't think I've seen before, which is $78. And if you're interested in the doll whip ears, they have them here. These are they're kind of like tiki room and doll whip, which I love. It just has both on there. Okay, now it's time to head across to the mansion. I love the haunted mansion, as you guys know. I recently saw the movie, the new film. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of it. I did like it. I kind of didn't love it as much as I'd expected being such a massive Haunted Mansion fan. Don't get me wrong, I did really, really enjoy it and I loved all of the, I say references to the attraction. It is based on the attraction, so most of the film is kind of reference to the attraction, if that makes sense. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of it if you've seen it. And I love this view from here when you walk under that covered area coming from Adventureland and you can see the Liberty Bell and the Haunted Mansion there. I love that. And they do have seating at the Diamond Horseshoe, it is saying here. I've never actually Hello! I've never eaten in there before so maybe that's something I should try on an upcoming trip. I think the food is kind of similar to Liberty Tree Tavern which is right here, almost next door. But yeah, perhaps I should try that sometime. Here we are and it's currently a 40 minute wait. Oh no, it's just the second drop down to 30. But I'm very glad to have this extra lightning lane that I wasn't expecting today. This is a really great photo spot as well if you love the Haunted Mansion. There's often a photo pass photographer there. No hat box ghost yet, but I think he's going to be going right here on the left. Toad, good to see you. Okay, I loved that as always. I never get tired of riding the Haunted Mansion, and I should mention as well that the wait time for Pirates was about 15 minutes, so a little bit less than the posted time. I was thinking about doing a little small world visit, but I think what I'm actually going to do is head to Main Street and go in some of the stores and the Emporium to show you guys what merchandise they have. And of course, I am in the market for a pop socket as well, and I do quite desperately need to get one because it's hard to take photos without it. So I'll see if they have any of those. And when you're walking through here, you can really see how close the Contemporary Resort is. It's such a good place to stay if you love the Magic Kingdom. Bay Lake Tower, of course, is right next to it, but I love that you can see it right there. It just looks so close. And I'm just gonna stop for a little photo pass here because this is a really good spot. Just love the music as you walk into the hub area. And it's much quieter back here now, so I think it's around 5 p.m., maybe 4.30. So this would be a good time to come and take some photos. The sun is probably a little bit better as well. It can be difficult earlier in the day. You've got the sun right in your face. However, I do recommend taking your photos a bit earlier in the day before you do get very hot and sweaty. So you have to weigh it up. You can usually get some good lighting if you move around a little bit. And I think I'm gonna head into the shops on the left-hand side. I've got a feeling the Emporium at this time of day will be very, very busy and it can be difficult then to show you everything. Whereas the ones on the left are not normally as bad. So we'll go through those today and then maybe do the Emporium next time or I might go in the Emporium and have a quick look because I have a feeling that's where the pop sockets will be. I'd just like to be able to show you guys as much as possible and that can be difficult when it's super busy in the Emporium. Okay we're gonna head into Uptown Jewelers first of all. This is where they have all the Pandora items and they have some more items here from the Tommy Hilfiger range. I don't think they had these last time. They had a few different things in Hollywood Studios, but I don't think I saw this shirt or this hoodie. And the hoodie is $189. And they also have this sweatshirt as well, which is $269. And this Dooney and Burke bag is nice if you like Disney, but not too full on. 
It is $328 though. They also have these bags which are the Disney 100 range. Kind of reminds me of Epcot very much with that pattern. And they have smaller versions there too. Those are 228 and I believe, yes, these are an annual pass holder range. And they also have this Haunted Mansion one. Oh, they have the Kermy Lounge Fly. I do love this bag. Look at Kermit there. And they also have a Haunted Mansion one here and a slightly different one with Leota on it. And if you're in the market for your kind of classic Walt Disney World Mickey items, they have those in here. This is where the vault collection used to be. They actually have ears and things in here as well. So if you do want to avoid the Emporium, it tends to be a little bit quieter in here, or a lot quieter, I should say. And you can get yourself some plain ears if you want them without a bow or anything else. They're just plain Mickey ears. And we're into the Main Street confectionery. I love how they've opened it up. It is a lot easier to walk around in here now. It smells so good too. Looks like they have some Halloween themed treats. I think they've got a mummy roast crispy treat there. And then they have ones with the Halloween colours. And they also have the candy apples with the Halloween colours on. They used to be able to cut them up for you, but I don't think they're allowed to do that anymore. And I can highly recommend these sour skittles. They're really, really good. You can't get them in the UK. Not these ones that have the kind of coating over. We do have sour skittles, but they're not the same as these ones. These ones are a lot better. In fact, I think I might get some. And you can also get the apples and the Rice Krispie treats in the kind of classic Mickey version. These are quite good to take home as a gift for someone. These I'm not sure would travel as well, the apple. But the Rice Krispie treats travel pretty well. And let's take a look at the good stuff, which is always here in the cabinet. And they have the gourmet popcorn. There's different types. I think this one is like a haunted mansion one. Then they have the Dapper Dan's Sweet Melody back there. And they also have cupcakes and cookies. Look at that Mickey cookie with peanuts at the back. That looks really good. And then they have a spiderweb one here. And if you're looking for things that will very easily travel home, then they have a lot of bagged candy and stuff here. I think I've had those rainbow sticks before with Pluto on at the bottom. Those are really good. And of course these, which are a very classic Disney treat. I just find they get so sticky because I can't eat anything like that in one go. So I have to uh, wrap it back up and then it just ends up in a sticky mess. But they are a very iconic Disney treat. And you can buy um, cotton candy in here or candy floss if you're in the UK. It's kind of making me want to buy some after my dessert I had earlier because I really enjoyed the little bit I had. But I would not want to eat all of that. I feel like I would have some kind of sugar incident. But <laughs> I do really like it. I haven't had it for years before I had some this morning. And this is where they make it. And you can also get slushies back here if you're really hot and you need something to cool down. I've had these several times, they're really nice and they do lots of different flavours. Okay, let's head into the Emporium and see if we can find Pop Socket. And along with the Little Mermaid ears, they do have this spirit jersey as well. Part of your world, let's see what the front looks like. It just says Ariel on the front. It's actually not too busy in here at all. It's usually the very end of the day. Look at this Haunted Mansion jacket. Is this a coat or a jacket? What is happening? It is... Oh, I don't really know how to describe what this is. It feels like kind of stretchy sport fabric, if that makes sense. Almost maybe like a thick swimsuit material, but it's a jacket in the style of almost like a formal jacket. That is very interesting. And they have this Haunted Mansion coat. I'm assuming this is, I was thinking it was a child's one, but I think that might just be because it's a really small size. I'm not sure. This is really different. And they have this Hatbox Ghost shirt. It's kind of like a thin sweatshirt, I would say. And the Hatbox Ghost is going to be appearing really soon in the Haunted Mansion here at Disney World. When we went through the attraction just a short while ago, the room where you have the floating candlestick, like the long hallway, that is where the Hatbox Ghost is going to be. I'm not sure when he's going to be there. There's nothing on the back of that one. Pretty soon though, I think. Can't wait for that. I loved the Hatbox Ghost in the Disneyland version of the Haunted Mansion, so I can't wait for him to be here. So they do have these ring style ones. I've had one of those before, but I actually really would prefer a proper pop socket. They have a Tiana one or a Stitch one. And they do have Olaf as well. I think these are the only ones they have and I don't really like any of those. I liked my one that was just like a Mickey head. Maybe I'll keep looking. And I think I'm going to 
gonna head out now and head across to the Grand Floridian, which is where we'll be having dinner in not too long of a time, but I'll be able to have a little browse around and just to sit down there, because I'm starting to flag now. And I will, of course, be back to the Magic Kingdom at this trip. This is just my first visit. I'll be back for the Halloween party later in the trip and also on another day. So plenty more time for doing more of the attractions. And I think I'm gonna get the resort monorail today. It will go all the way around if you want to go to Grand Floridian. That will be the last stop on the resort monorail. But I do always just enjoy a monorail ride and I'm in no particular hurry. So it'll be nice to do the whole loop. If you're going back to the Ticket and Transportation Center to either get an Uber or go back to your car, then the Express monorail is the best option. However, if you come out and that one is really busy and the resort monorail is not, this does also stop there. So I would recommend getting this one if it's a lot quieter. Perfect timing, there's one right here. home resort i do love this resort so much they've been having some work done on the lobby but i believe that's completed now let's just have a look from up here all looks back to normal and i love when they have someone playing the piano here I'm definitely gonna head down there and just sit and relax for a while but before i do that i will just take a look in here in case they have a pop socket you never know so they do have the 50th one but i know that this one is really expensive because i've looked at it before is $50, I can't do it, I can't. But something like that would be perfect. Okay, I found myself a nice sofa, dream location, to just have a bit of a relax, a bit of phone time. The pianist has stopped briefly, but it's just really nice having a bit of peace interspersed with some piano playing. This is one of my favorite places to take a break. It has been super hot today. I was really worried that I'd burn my face, but I don't think I have now that I'm inside. I think I was probably just hot, but yeah, do put sunscreen on and keep reapplying it. Especially like if you're wearing anything like I have on today, where you've got your shoulders out, or if you're wearing like a vest top or something like that, make sure you put it on your shoulders and your face, especially. Um, and just like here, these are the areas that just burn so quickly in the Florida heat. So yeah, just make sure you are protecting your skin, drinking loads of water. I know I always say it, but honestly, it is just so important because it can ruin your time. If you do burn or get heat stroke or something, it is just so awful and unpleasant and it can ruin several days of your trip. And if there's one piece of advice that you ever take from my vlogs, it is this. Honestly, these are not that expensive on Amazon. I will link it below. It is the best money you will ever spend. <laughs> Bring a power bank and a charger with you so that you can top it up when you're sitting down for lunch or to take breaks. You can just plug it in to make sure that it doesn't run out. But honestly, this thing is just a lifesaver when it's really, really hot. Okay, I'm on the move again. I thought I'd just check out this other store just in case they have a pop socket. You never know. And um, then I'm gonna go over to the Grand Floridian Cafe. Kate's running a little bit late. They're stuck on a bus. So I'm just gonna let them know that we are here. Nope sadly no pop socket she mentioned the one upstairs and i was like yeah i've seen that one but i'll keep looking let me go and talk nicely to the cast members and hopefully they won't mind that we're a bit late so i just spoke to them at the desk and the cast members were lovely as they always are they said it's fine that they're a bit late apparently there was an accident on the i4 which caused the traffic that kate got stuck in in the uber so it's fine i'm just waiting for them now and hopefully we'll be heading in soon i'm actually quite hungry now because i haven't had anything since this morning at the plaza restaurant because that really filled me up so definitely ready for my dinner now okay we are seated and she said we had a long walk to the table this is literally the podium i thought she was actually serious but they're right here and look who's here hello <laughs> people have been waiting to say hi to you on instagram everyone's been saying where's kate yeah i've had a few messages <laughs> but yeah she's had a stressful moment so we're just gonna yeah, we're get a drink here because i've got stuck in traffic and we're like 30 minutes late, so. but it's all good it's all good yeah. So I'm now just outside here at the entrance to Grand Floridian. I didn't really vlog while we were eating. Obviously I was eating with Kate and her boyfriend so we were just talking and stuff. So it's harder to vlog when I'm eating with other people but I did vlog what we had. So I had the French onion soup which was really nice to start and Kate had a chicken soup 
and then for our entrees, Kate had a seafood curry, which she said was really, really good. I had the gnocchi, which was nice. It was a lot though, it was a huge portion and I couldn't finish it, but it was really nice. It's a very nice, relaxed vibe in there and it was very quiet. So I would say you could probably get a walk up easily. So if you do happen to be coming out of the Magic Kingdom or you're just visiting here and you're looking for a dinner option where you don't have to book and have an ADR, that would be a great option because it's just very chilled and they did have loads of spare tables in there. But now I'm just waiting for my Uber. I'm super tired now, so I'm gonna go back and head to bed. I am back in the room, as you can see, in my pajamas. I always love being in the Magic Kingdom for the first time on a trip. It's just such a magical park. When you first walk in to Town Square and then down Main Street, there's really nothing like it. It's so nice. I met so many of you guys again today. A huge thank you to everybody who came over to say hello. I love chatting with you. Please always do say hello if you see me. I just can't believe how many of you guys are out here at the moment. This is obviously a very popular time to come. I didn't do loads of attractions today, but I just enjoyed wandering around taking everything in I do have the Halloween party later in the trip like I said I've got another visit to the Magic Kingdom as well so today was just kind of taking in the magic it was very hot I have to say it felt hotter today than it did yesterday but it is always very hot still it doesn't really cool down until October I would say and obviously then when you go into November December January it can be quite cool and February as well and then sort of March it starts to warm up again so definitely September is still in in the kind of hot range but I would definitely say it doesn't feel as bad as June. When I was here in June this year and last year, definitely that did feel hotter than it does at the minute. And a huge thank you to you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this vlog. And as I always say, for liking, commenting, subscribing, everything else that you do to support and over on Patreon as well, I appreciate all of you so much, I really do. And it allows me to keep making this content for you guys. Please do let me know in the comments if there's anything specific that you would like to see when I'm on my next trip, which will be end of November. November and December if there's any particular resorts or restaurants or anything that you want to see in more detail please do let me know in the comments again a huge thank you to everyone who came up to say hello today I hope you guys are all well and I will see you next Saturday bye at one point he was livid then he pushed to the front of a queue he lit his passport on fire and he also got beaten up by a leprechaun so it was quite random it's quite a random <laughs> film um, but I did enjoy it.